One way to be Red Cross ready is in the backyard while using your grill. And joining us live this morning on Good Day Wisconsin is Good Day Wisconsin weekend meteorologist Doug Higgins, who's getting some grilling tips from the American Red Cross. Hi, Doug. Uh, yeah, good morning, Pete. It's not tips on how to cook. Yeah. It's tips on how to cook safely. A little something different. We've got Brenda Quake with us with the Red Cross. And uh, just some uh, some uh, real quick tips on what people should do if they're going to fire up, like say, the gas grill this weekend to be safe. Okay, especially if you haven't been firing it up yet, although a lot of us have, you want to make sure that the grill is kept safely from any overhangs, from any buildings, uh, any overhanging leaves, things like that. Don't they, want anything catching fire. Don't even want anything catching fire. You also want to keep uh, children and your pets at a safe distance, minimum three feet, because surfaces can get hot and they don't know which surfaces are hot. And it's important to communicate to your children to stay away. Right, right, exactly, exactly. And what about uh, gas lines? You said sometimes gas lines uh, on the gas grills can start to get little breaks in them. Yeah, um, first thing in the summer, when you fire up your grill, you, before you actually turn it on, you want to check for gas leaks using a little bit of soapy water, checking for bubbles, checking for smells of gas. If you smell gas or if you see any bubbles, you need to turn the gas off and have a authorized repair person check the lines or replace the lines for the gas. Um, and make sure then that you also fill up and transport your gas safely as make well. Make sure it's safe. Uh, we've got a charcoal grill also over here. That's going to be a popular thing. Uh, any uh, any tips for people on charcoal grills? Yeah, when firing up charcoal grills, you want to make sure that you apply the lighter before you actually light it. Don't add uh, gasoline or other flammable liquids to it. Use uh, proper charcoal lighter for your uh, fires, or you can use uh, wood. You can actually use like kindling and things like that to start charcoal. So it's no sitting here and spraying charcoal fluid from six feet yeah, away. Yeah, flame sh shooting across the deck is not a good idea. Yeah. Um, also, if you uh, happen to keep a first aid kit around, um, in case you have any kind of injuries because of burning or something like that. If you do have a flame up, uh, turn the gas off, uh, snuff out the fire by closing the lids to the grills, and uh, don't dispose of charcoal uh, coals until you're absolutely sure that they're cold. So you want to make sure that you don't put them in the trash afterwards because, again, that's another fire hazard. That's right. You know, it's common sense tips, but it's always nice to go through them. And you know what? I haven't checked my line for safety for the, uh, for the, for the gas grill, so that's something even I have to do. Me too. <laughs> uh, now, if, uh, if, if you need uh, more tips on uh, safe grilling, you can just go to our website. Uh, we're linked in with the Red Cross. Just click on Good Day Wisconsin, Wisconsin and you'll see all the latest tips for you right there. So uh, have a safe 4th of July and a, a good time grilling. Pete? Thanks, Doug.